Jenna's Craft Cottage in Jenna's Kitchen. Today we're going to make these caramel puff corns. Unlike the caramel corn you get at a fair, this doesn't use popcorn so the kernels won't stick in your teeth. I think you'll really like these. So let's get started. The ingredients you'll need are three bags of Chester Butter Puff Corn. You can get those at most of the large grocery stores, but sometimes it's harder to find. They're only about $2.29 a piece. One cup of butter or two sticks of butter. One and one quarter cup of light brown sugar. Two thirds cup of light corn syrup and one teaspoon of baking soda. You'll also need two sheet cake pans, a four quart saucepan, metal dough cutter or scraper, or a metal spatula, and a pastry brush. We are first going to melt the cup of butter in, on the stove. Before all the butter is melted, I'm going to use a little bit of the butter to coat the pans. I'm just using a little bit of the butter to cover the pans so that the puffs won't stick. Now while the butter is melting, I'm going to divide the puffs into the two pans. The three bags will be divided. You want to spread these puffs all around the pan. Now we'll add the brown sugar. This is one and one quarter cups and I packed it. And then the carol syrup, two thirds of a cup. We're not going to add the baking soda until later. We want to cook this on the stove for three minutes after it starts boiling. If you are in the high altitude area, you want to cook it for seven minutes before you do anything. I have preheated the oven to 250 degrees. Once it starts boiling, you want to cook it for three minutes. After the three minutes are up, or seven minutes if you're in high altitude, take your saucepan off. It looks like it's almost ready to go, but I'm going to take it off the heat and show you how this puffs up. I'm going to add my one teaspoon of baking soda and stir that around. And you can see it will almost double in volume. Now we're going to pour this over all these puffs. And they don't have to cover everything right away because they will be tossed several times. My oven is set to 250 degrees and now I'm going to place these trays on the racks in the oven. And now we're going to let it bake for 20 minutes. These puffs have been baking for 20 minutes and now I'm going to toss them. You want to try to coat all the pieces if you can, but don't worry because they're, you'll be tossing this two more times. So I'm going to spread this out to get a, a nice layer. The tray that was on the top rack will now be on the bottom rack where the one that was on the bottom will become the top rack. We're going to bake this up for another 20 minutes.
we're going to toss this one last time. That would have been 60 minutes of in the oven baking with intervals of every 20 minutes tossing and trying to coat all the caramel onto the, uh, the puffs here. Now I'm gonna let these cool. You now want to separate these. These are really stuck together, so separate each of these pieces. And you can store them in a Ziploc bag or a airtight container, and they will last for, you know, a while unless you eat them all. I hope you will enjoy this special sweet treat. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. A day without sunshine is just an extra day for crafting. Enjoy!